Hey guys, this is Brian with Thunder Laser USA. So I saw a question about uh, connecting the laser uh, or maybe having issues with connecting to the laser. So I just wanted to do a, a quick walkthrough on that. So I've got my laser plugged in USB right now and I'm in the device manager. And if I right click that and go to properties, then let me pull it over here. Uh, you can see that I have the FTDI driver loaded. Uh, and the port is okay. If I unplug the laser, it goes away. And when I plug it back in, there it is again. So make sure that that's functioning properly and that the device is being recognized. Now when you're in light burn, I'm going to close it and open it back up. <clears throat> so it says no device found down here. I'm going to right click over devices and it's still not going to find anything. That's because mine's normally hooked up Ethernet. So we'll go into devices and this is my laser now. Let's try to do an automatic install. So we're going to have it go to find the laser. And it found it. And it found it on COM6, so that's right. So we can add the device. We need to change this to rear left. That's always going to be the, the device origin is rear left and then you can finish. So now, when we're on that one, I can right click devices. It's still thinking. Let's make that default. Okay, and it found it. So just to check, uh, we'll go into the file list and refresh. So yeah, it is communicating with the DSP. If it does not do that, um, this particular instance that I saw this on was on uh, 3580, so you can create manually. And you're going to go down and choose Ruida and Next. And I would suggest choosing Packet USB over Serial USB. Um, this should be defaulted. So I would choose Packet USB, and hit Next, and you can name it whatever you like. And on a Nova 35, it's 900 by 600. Oh, I'm in inches. Cancel. Okay, I'm going to start over. I got to go to millimeters. I don't think in inches. So we're going to go to device. We're going to create manually. Ruida. Next. Packet USB. Next. And this is going to be 900 by 600, and we'll just call it read a test. Next, we're going to choose rear left. Next, look over everything, hit finish. So let's make it the default, since I have more than one. And if we right click, we see that it's found it. We'll refresh the file list, and it is communicating with the laser. Uh, I'll do a separate one on Ethernet. There's a couple more steps on that, uh, but I'll try to pop one of those out soon. If this doesn't help, let me know, and uh, we'll dig a little deeper.